and Gogi. Okay. They shared a common space. Okay. Uh, he was in the center, to the right was Gogi, Sarojpal and left Arpana. And then I would visit the different studios and you know, just wonder why something like that can't happen here. So I'm very glad that Chandigarh, the Chandigarh Lalit Kala Academy, supported by the administration, because Chandigarh has such a, you know, it's administration ha yes. heavy. Bureaucratic. If they want to veto something, <laughs> they'll just do it. But I'm very glad that it does happen and it's going to give a big boost to the city artists. And gradually now in, I find some work selling also. Right. It's not as bad as it no. was then. Yes. Little work is selling, work is going out. And I think this is something wonderful. I grew up in, I was born in Sector 90. Okay. And I grew <laughs> up here. So for me, this area is so familiar and so beautiful. This temple was always there. Yes. And then these beautiful studios. There used to be these small kind of tombstones which are no longer there, okay. lining this road, white, okay. muddy, muddy cat it is, muddy, muddy, okay. muddy, okay. uh, muddy, they would okay. say. So this I congratulate everyone all round for starting the studios, giving them space, giving them exposure, people walking in, people walking in, seeing their work and also, you know, having activity here. Yes, which sensitize the public as well towards art. Yeah. These people can just walk in, see what's yeah, happening, yeah, what yeah. is the process of art, which is very important. And uh, I have attended a couple of uh, lectures here and all, yes. and I found uh, a good attendance. Yes. Yes. So slowly it's building, building well. True, true. So um, talk to us a little about um, Amrita Shekhil and uh, how did you discover her? When did you discover her? See, ours was quite a, as yours, a literary family with an artistic bent of mind. And why one heard Amrita Shergill's name first was because of Amrita Pritam. Because Amrita Pritam would be mentioned all the time and then my mother would say, these two women were famous, Amrita Pritam and Amrita Shergil. So that's how one got to know of an artist, Amrita Shergil, who died very young. This much I knew and I had seen a, a painting which was I related to very well was that group of three girls or three girls. So I, I liked that painting. I saw a certain sisterhood in it the three girls yes. sitting together. But uh, it was not until in one of my sojourns to uh, Delhi. Okay. In fact, as a child, I lived for, for a whole year next to the Gallery of Modern Art. I was 11 those days. I never visited it. Yeah. It was too frightening to go. <laughs> <laughs> and where are there uh, works of Amrita at the Modern Art Gallery? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And I visited uh, the Modern Art Gallery while I was uh, I think just about when I'd started journalism and uh, I saw all her works and that's how an impression was made. But it was in the, when I moved in express only to Delhi, taking care of the art section, uh, I became more familiar with her works, uh, with her contribution, her life story, because there I would go to lectures by Geeta Kapoor, okay. Vivan was there. Yes. And while in, ah, one uh, good experience was, while I was still here, Vivan was running the Kasoli Arts Centre. And they had a camp to which I was invited, it would be the 80s. Okay. And uh, the house was full at that time of Amrita Shergil paintings. Okay and the ivy cottage they called it and uh, I was made to sleep in a loft so I came face to face yes, with the work yes. then. Yes. But while I was in Delhi something very interesting happened. One of the gallery owners, I'm forgetting her name now, she left the art business afterwards but she got a print made of these three girls, okay. the painting 
20 prints and distributed them to 20 artists, women artists. Mm, interesting. And asked them to do a painting based on this. Okay. So all these artists worked on it. It was a very interesting... Uh, some, of course, was totally apart. Uh, one which I recall vividly is Arpana Kaur. There are three figures in the dark night. Two are sleeping. One is illuminated and up. So I think as in the old days, they would say that you have to burn midnight oil to get somewhere. <laughs> And uh, sure enough, Amrita Shergill worked very hard yes. to have, you know, been able to do so much of work. And uh, the most uh, interesting work inspired by this show was by Gogi Sarojpal, okay. who herself is a very fine painter. So she took the three sisters as they were, painted them as they were, but repositioned them so that they are not all looking at the unknown, yes. but at one another. Okay. And one hand is cut in that painting. Okay. She restored that hand and she put flowers on their clothes. <laughs> and she said something critical about Amrita, Chergil's work, which uh, I think is valid. She says her style was Western, yes. which we all do, but her subjects were Indian. But with the Indian subjects, since she could not relate that deeply, at times she treated them as still life. Oh, how interesting. Uh, I didn't think at times they were, as not many people like this criticism, right. at times still life, you know, they're sitting yes. as though they're posing, right. without an expression, without... If there is a woman on a charpai, beautiful work, there's one fanning her, but the, there's no communication between the two. So this, uh, there's a lot of, lot of uh, people also criticize Amrita for other reasons. In fact, Amrita was one of those gutsy daredevil <laughs> girls yes, she was a who shocked everyone yes. and especially annoyed people in south of India. <laughs> Here comes this young, you know, teenager almost, and she comes and upsets the balance for all times. Oh, for, <laughs> so <laughs> true. So true. And uh, how it happened when she was studying in Paris at that Beauvoir, one of the teachers remarked that your uh, color palette is not in sync with Western yes. art. You will do better. You will come to your own, but it will have to be somewhere in the East. Right. So that's what made Amrita determined to come back to India. And she wanted to come. And she was greatly influenced, as we all know, by miniature art, by the Ajanta frescoes, yes. and the colors, the Indian colors. And the first painting she did was uh, a group of three girls, right. the three girls. Now, interestingly, two years ago, some 80 years after the painting was done, or maybe more, 80 years here, it was painted in 1935. Okay. I discovered that those three girls were from Punjab, oh. Amritsar, and part of the Majitya family. Technically, they would be nieces of Amrita. Amrita. Okay. They were bubbly girls, 16, 17, and full of life. They look so serious in the Yeah, that, that is the what. <laughs> that is where I feel somewhere Amrita's vision was Western. And she was seeing these women, you know, with as very hopeless creatures yes. who are sitting, you know, pensive. Yes. And one day they'll be married off without their will, without an affair, without a romance. And then they'll bear children and that's their story. So when I met, you know the person whose mother uh, 
the person who does the Sangroon Literature Festival, Karan Sibir, 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 one of the sisters is okay. his mother, okay. the two others are Masi. They were all Majitia girls okay. and she was visiting the Majitia house in Amritsar, uh, her uncle's ha um, house, grandfather's house uncle. And she liked these girls very much and she made them sit on a, uh, you know, in gardens they would have that roller for the handy, glass. Handy, handy. Sit on the roller and the painting, the sweet. Mm. So, uh, and she sent that painting to... The Mijita family? No, no, to Bombay for exhibition. Okay. And it won an award. Oh, that's how, yes. It won an award. Yes. And before that she'd got one award in Paris for young girls. Now it's very interesting if you compare these two paintings. Right. Young girls, there is Amrita herself and one French girl. Hanji. They sit on two chairs almost like we are sitting. But they are engaged yes. in some way. And the three sisters, and what surprised me had Amrita lived, which was very sad that she died so young, she would have seen that these three sisters led hearty lives <laughs> Poor children, grandchildren, and lived up to 80, 85, you know. Yes, yes. So you can never say what life is going to bring to you. True, true. Uh, probably she was the only uh, Indian woman artist to receive this award, the first Indian woman? She was. Uh, uh, the, f uh, the first award which came in Paris was. She was the first Asian. First Asian. And she was 19. Uh, but in spite of that, she knew that her future, future of art lay elsewhere. And K.G. Subramanian was very upset because Amrita Shergil with her, <laughs> <laughs> you know, with her spirit and unconquerable spirit said that the West is for Matisse and Picasso. India is only for me. Uh -huh. India is only mine. Okay. So they said, what a pop. Uh, K.G. Subramanian later yes. was to comment that one of the most pompous. <laughs> it could be, you take, you can take it as pompous, but it can also be that it was her faith and inspiration. And the spirit. Spirit, of that oh, of India's and the See, to the world. artist, to the poet, very often nothing belongs to them. But they say, my city, yes. my world, my... <laughs> so similarly, she my said, people. India's mine. Yes. And she did India proud. Now, if we find very often from the West, she's done equally well. In the West? Took very long. Okay. okay. Uh, long for her work to uh, be, be recognized. Right. It happened with the Christie's and the Sotheby's. Ah, <laughs> right. But the fame she got here was, was remarkable. She was a charming woman. She charmed many men. And what they say, including the first prime minister of the country. <laughs> She had many admirers okay. uh, for her charm and for her work also, right. her passion for her work. And uh, soon after the partition of the country, her uh, work was declared national treasure. It's all, much of it is housed in the National Gallery of Mondrian. There's an Amrita Shergil room. Okay. Okay. And, uh, a few works are in the Lahore Museum too. And they made a condition that if any auction selling Amrita's work in India, the work has to remain in India. Oh. You cannot buy it here and then take it abroad. Take it. Okay. There was a Amrita Shergil Marg in Delhi. Yes. Then there is this a stamp of one of her paintings, I'm forgetting which one, with come back stamp which was issued in the 70s and now if you go to the net there is a lot of information which may not which people have put in especially wiki which may not be authentic also mm, okay. they say she was the one who inspired the play tumhari amrita ah, no. which is <laughs> which is which is the other amrita, the other amrita. yes yes <laughs> but and, the legend of amrita is remarkable uh, one, I feel, they say those whom the gods love die young. But I think it's the human beings mm. 